guys, it's Lita. So it is kind of sort of almost Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day is just a super magical holiday. It is full of love and and just uh, hearts and woo and everything. So I decided I would make a kind of Valentine's Day guide on how to find the right Valentine and what to do to earn their heart. Also just how to get in the Valentine's Day spirit. So first off, you must adorn your Valentine's Day attire. You should also hang up some lovely Valentine's Day decorations. I'm gonna kill somebody. And remember, handmade decorations are always more special. Next, you should make a possible list of all of the valentines that you would want this year. But you can only choose one. Sylvanas Windrunner. She's pretty hot. Celine from Underworld. She's also really hot. King Thranduil. Hmm. Yes. Pegasus from Disney's Hercules. I, I guess. Yes, he is my valentine this year. Once you've chosen your valentine, you should make a thoughtful little card for them that expresses your feelings for them. Dear Thrandy, you are so fab. You have a fancy hat. I had a huge infatuation with your son when I was like 6 to 14 years old, but forget I said that. I want to party with you, please. Then we can braid each other's hair and stuff. Please be my valentine, Thranduil. Please. Illy, text me, okay? Lita. P.S. Jelly of your eyebrows. After that, you should bake your valentine something very sweet and cute. When you're finished baking your valentine something sweet like a pastry or a cake or a cookie, you should wrap it up in a little gift bag, basket, sack. And finally, the last step to perfecting your Valentine's Day is to cry because your Valentine doesn't exist. 